France will withdraw its ambassadors from Australia and the US in protest against the AUKUS submarine deal. It's a significant escalation, but Foreign Minister Maurice Payne says she understands France's deep disappointment. Arriving at the presidential palace in June, Prime Minister Scott Morrison received a warm welcome from French President Emmanuel Macron. Three months on, that relationship has reached a low point as France withdraws its ambassador to Australia and the United States, a move normally reserved for adversaries only. The French foreign minister argues this exceptional decision is justified by the exceptional gravity of the announcements made on 15 September. France claims it was blindsided by the birth of the AUKUS alliance, which saw the Morrison government cancel the troubled $90 billion submarine deal with French shipbuilder Naval Group. Instead, working with the US and UK to acquire at least eight nuclear-powered submarines. We were deliberately kept in the black. We were deliberately ignored. But I absolutely understand their disappointment. The Foreign Minister is in Washington as part of annual OSMIN talks with the US. In a statement, Maurice Payne says, quote, We note with regret France's decision to recall its ambassador to Australia for consultations. Australia values its relationship with France. This will not change. The French were blindsided by this decision and Mr Morrison should have done much more to protect the relationship. France claims it's been stabbed in the back by Australia, arguing the secretive submarine deal has been a breach of trust. Defence experts believe, though, this will only be a hiccup in the relationship. This is a, uh, a blow to the, to the pride of France. I think the president has to be seen to be doing something, but I actually think the, the audience for this decision is domestic. Explanation is key. Re-establish the trust is key. The Prime Minister will head to Washington next week. It will be the first face-to-face -face meeting of the AUKUS partners, a show of solidarity that may again raise the ire of Paris. Next. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.